Notice if we select a different LRN, notice the changes that we have on our SF10. Hello guys, welcome back. It's Stuart Turco right here and today we will formally work on with this interactive SF10 that we have. So we already have discussed in the previous videos the important formulas that we're going to combine in order to achieve this uh, SF10 to become functional and interactive. As you can see right here, we have different worksheets and these worksheets contain the grades that we need for our interactive SF10. So we will start with identifying the information that we need to uh, to display here. So we will be basing our information from the LRN. So what we're going to do is that um, we will be uh, creating a drop-down list here for the LRN as the basis of all our information at this point. Okay. So at this point in time, let me explain that um, we need to create a data validation and that is under data tab. So under data validation, as you can see right here, this cell has already allowed only the list. So the data that are here on the list. So by default, that is in any value, all right? But uh, if we want to set the limitations for the criteria, we can choose list. So once we choose the list, we will select the source and that is from our input data file. So we'll select all the cells here that contain the LRN from the beginning till the end of the list that we have on our um, database. So you can actually get along with the process. Just download the exercise file down in the description so that you can practice and you will learn by yourself. All right. So let's continue. So now that we have assigned data right here that will be contained from the list. Now we have already our reference to find the information. So let's start with the name. Okay, so it states here last name. So our formula will be, we will be using the VLOOKUP. So we will use the equal sign. And uh, since this is an automated formula, once there are no information on this cell from the LRN, it should be blank here. So we will incorporate the is blank function. So we will use if followed by is blank. Okay, because that is if the LRN is blank. Okay. So we can lock it up so that uh, we will avoid any confusion. Okay, if it is blank, then the value is all right. So it should be empty. Okay, if uh, it is not blank, therefore we will use VLOOKUP. Okay, so this VLOOKUP function. All right, so the same item we will select M8. So we will lock it one more time so that it will be easier for us to use the formula in the, the later part of this tutorial. Okay, so comma, and uh, we will use input data file. So we will base the information right here. Okay, so we will select all the information in the table. Okay, so right there, we'll press again F4 to lock the reference. And then we will select number two, that is for the last name, okay? And at this point, we'll be using the exact match, okay? So at this point, we'll press enter, okay? So as you can see, it's empty because it's empty here from the LRN. So if we will select one LRN right here, automatically it will display that um, last name. So take note that on the list, you have there the order of LRN. So that is based on your input data file. So in whatever order the LRNs are uh, encoded, that will be also the order that you have on your list. Okay, so right after that, we have the last name, so we will proceed with the first name. So since we already have the formula, we will copy this one up. Okay, so we'll press enter and we'll proceed with the first name and we will paste that one. So the first name is on the third column. So let's replace two with number three and press enter. Okay, so name extension. So some students don't have this name extension. So this is now we will be looking, uh, we'll be uh, incorporating another if function on our system. So we will paste the formula, all right? So in case that there is no last name, it should be empty. So what we're going to do is we will be um, using another if function. So if, all right, vlookup, okay, 
is equal to empty that's double quotation so we will have the value double quotation again as our uh, um, true value but if it is false we will just only copy this formula so that means if the answer is empty then it will reflect an empty um, string or I mean an empty cell but if it is not empty then the formula will be executed okay so let's close the parenthesis now and press enter so as you can see here that um, the returning data is epsilon because um, we have not changed yet the column number so the name extension falls under one two three four five so it should be five so let's go back to our formula we'll change it by five okay so don't forget that both formula for the VLOOKUP should be changed by five okay and let's press enter okay so there's junior so let's try to check if uh, there are other LRNs who don't have the name extension so you can see here Barbas George has no name extension so that is left empty okay so again let's copy this formula okay and press enter and we will paste that formula here for the middle name so that is on column number let's guess column number four all right so that's right so it's column number four so for uh, birth date that is on column number now oh, seven one two three four five six seven all right so it's column number seven okay change two into seven okay so you can see that he here month date and year okay so uh, we can just ignore the um we can just ignore the uh, hyphen right there or if you would like then i'll show you how if uh, we have here all the hyphenated um, data for the birth date then we can change them into uh, a forward slash okay so let's just go to data and uh, we will make sure first that the information will be changed all in text format because we don't need the age of the student just only the birthday so what we're going to do is to uh, convert this text in the columns that we have so we will choose the text as the type of data so that is uh, delimited next uh, just select tab next and let's select here text and click finish so now all the data that we have here are already in text so now let's replace all the dash with a forward slash so that's a hyphen or a dash so let's change it now with the type of info uh, of the um, of the punctuation mark that is needed in the SF10 because whatever value you place here will also the same value that will be displayed on your SF10 so let's click replace all right so there were 72 replacements okay so let's see here on our automated SF10 now you have there the date the date of birth so for the sex of the student okay so we will choose number six all right so you can see there that it has already been automated so let's try to remove this uh, LRN and automatically everything is lost okay so let's choose one LRN right here and we can display the information right now so we will move on here with our subjects so as you can see the subjects should be on the same order as you have set on your database it's like here Filipino English mathematics science so on and so forth so we have also here Filipino English mathematics science so on and so forth so that it will be easier for you to set the formula later here all right so let's start with quarter one so let's paste the formula all right so if then the VLOOKUP here now we will change our um, we will change our reference so let's delete that one and let's proceed to database quarter one and we will highlight all of this things and all right so let's press F4 to lock the reference and that will be on one two three that is 
number three um, number three column so let's press enter okay so you have there the number 88 so when you try to drag this down right here you will see that the same information applies because the formula has been copied the same uh, with the same reference so what we're going to do is since we're going to drag this one since it is already on uh, column 3 let us incorporate now the count a function okay so let's delete number 3 and we'll put count a function so count a so let's select this one let's highlight or uh, select filipino and press colon as you can see b26 has been duplicated so we will highlight the first b26 and lock that one by pressing f4 okay and uh, we will close that in the parentheses so at this point it is now having a number one so since we need number three so we will add plus two so that is one plus two is equal to three and press enter right so once we have there let's drag it down to the very end okay so as you can see we have that information right now okay so let's have the same formula with the other grading period so we will copy that one just press enter next uh, column right here or next cell we will just only um, change this quarter one into quarter two because uh, they have just only the same um, names okay so let's press enter and you see there okay so let's drag it down over there so number three the same principle so quarter one let's change it into quarter three okay and let's drag it down okay and the same with quarter four just cut and paste and select this q1 with q4 so that is very fast isn't it okay so the thing is that it's very fast it's because that our um, worksheets right here have the same names except uh, for the quarter numbers okay so that makes our work easier so here in the final rating these are not yet the actual um, rating that we have so let's remove them and uh, let's remove also the data here from the remarks so that uh, we can start all over from scratch okay so for final rating we will use the average okay so let's use the average and highlight all these uh, parts right here close it and press enter so we have 87 but to make sure the exact amount or the exact value we need to use the round function okay so round and let's have it um, sh um, rounded off to the nearest uh, ones okay so that's it and we can drag it down okay and for our uh, general weighted average the same principle so we will round the uh, average of this so okay so round average okay so we just encountered an error sorry for that okay so we need only to highlight down up till mape okay so as you can see here mape because music arts being held are already components of mape so we will close the parentheses and then comma and number of digits is zero for we don't need extra decimal places press enter and we have there the average for the remarks we need if function okay so that should also be um, if this one is blank okay so let's click this one is equal to empty because it, we could not use the is blank at this time because blank is only for blank as in nothing in the cell no, no formula no value so we will use the empty um, quotation right here okay so comma if value is true then um, let's make it empty if it is false then uh, we will use another if okay so if okay the same reference is greater than is greater than or equal to 75 then comma it is passed or otherwise failed okay so please note 
not to forget always the open and close quotation because whatever inside the quotation marks that you have will be displayed on the resulting data okay so let's close the parenthesis and press enter okay and now we can drag it down down to the last subject that you have and there you go okay so we have created an interactive sf10 so if you will try to um to look for other information of the other students if we select a different lrn notice the changes that we have on our sf10 so if you are a teacher advisor it will be easier for you to monitor your uh, students cards or general average because you already have the information right away by using the grades that you have encoded in your quarterly database all right so that ends our tutorial in making an interactive um, SF10. If you find this video very helpful, please don't hesitate to share this video with your colleagues, with your uh, friends, or with anyone who wants to learn about Microsoft Office Excel. And uh, thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. And as always, have a great day!